All right, welcome to Decimal Checkerboard, multiplying a decimal times a decimal. So if you are not quite ready for this or need a review, there is another uh, video on multiplying a decimal by a whole number and another one on how the decimal checkerboard is built. So uh, if you are interested in reviewing before you get to this video, feel free to stop and come back later. All right, so this is my homemade de decimal checkerboard. Um, I thought my cat just wanted the lesson, but she really wants this. Uh, so if you were in school, this is what you would be working with. So this is close, not quite the same thing. Um, all right, but it works just the same way. Now, the other thing that I don't have that you have at school uh, are the bead bars. So I'm going to show you how to use pennies, Legos, any small objects instead of um, the beads, and then you just use your knowledge of decimal place value to help you figure out how many of them you put in each space. So you're basically carrying with your markers. All right, so the problem that we are going to attempt to do together today is four and 25 hundredths times one and 23 hundredths. So I'm picking four and 25 hundredths, one and 23 hundredths times. All right. And first thing we need to do when we're working with the checkerboard, any checkerboard, decimal or whole number checkerboard, is set up our multiplicand, which in this case is four and 25 hundredths. So I have four units, two tens, tenths, and five hundredths. Four and there's a little decimal point there you probably can't see, 25 hundredths. All right, and then I need to set up my multiplier. So what I am going to, how many times am I gonna take this? And I'm going to set that up right here. So I'm taking my one unit and 23 hundredths, and there's a reason why I'm setting it up here. It's because I wanna make sure that my units and my units line up together because when I multiply units times units, I get units. When I multiply units times tenths, I get tenths. When I multiply units times hundreds, I get hundreds. So that makes it really easy for me to see. Now, if you have a lot of decimal places in your multiplier, notice I'm almost out of decimal places for my multiplier. I've got one more to go. Um, so I can actually just move my multiplicand up because you'll see that I have the same spaces right here. So I have four units, decimal point, two tenths and five hundredths, four and 25 hundredths. So I will leave that there just so you see that it's doable. And once again, I'm gonna set up units times units, units times tenths, and units times hundreds, it's like the fingerboard. All right, and I'm gonna slide all of this over here for the simple reason that most people, when they've been working with the checkerboard for a while, get used to seeing the multiplier on the right side of the board. Um, and so they like to keep it there instead of lining it up in the center of the board. Uh, it's a personal preference thing, so do whatever makes you more comfortable. All right. And we always begin with the smallest place value. So in this case, I'm going to multiply my hundreds times hundreds, and that will put me in the uh, ten thousandths place because I'm taking a hundreds of a hundreds. So five hundreds times three hundreds is fifteen ten thousandths. I hope I said that before. So this is the ten thousandths place. In, use that fingerboard slide, and I have 15 ten thousandths. Now you know I cannot put 15 ten thousandths in the ten thousandths place, but I also know that 10 ten thousandths is one thousandths. So I am going to put five there. So I have five ten thousandths, and then I've exchanged those other 
10 ten thousandths for one thousandths. And I'm moving on to multiplying my two tenths by my three hundredths. Tenths times hundredths is thousandths. And I've got two times three, so that's six thousandths. Nothing to carry. I'm just going to add those to this one thousandths that's already there. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. And finally, I'm multiplying units times hundreds. That puts me in the hundreds place. And four times three, so that is twelve hundredths. Again, cannot put twelve hundredths in the hundreds place, but I know that twelve hundredths is, or ten hundredths is one tenth. So I'm going to carry ten of those over and exchange them for a tenth. All right, and I have my first partial product. And my first partial product um, is going to be uh, ooh, five, yeah. uh, five ten thousandths, seven thousandths, two hundredths, and one tenth. All right. And I know that if I went any further, I would end up in the units place. So I'm going to make sure my decimal point is in there because I want to make sure I'm keeping track of my place value. All right, and we're done multiplying by hundreds. Now I'm going to multiply everything by tenths. Uh, all right, so I've got hundreds times tenths. That gives me thousands because I'm taking a tenth of a hundred. And I have ten thousands. Oh, well, can't put ten thousands in the thousands place. But ten thousandths is one hundred. So I'm going to just carry right away. Then I'm multiplying my tenths times tenths. And if I take a tenth of a tenth, I get a hundred. And if I take two times two, I get four. So I get four hundredths. One, two, three, four hundredths uh, to add to the one that was already there. Then I have units times tenths. Units times tenths always puts me into the tenths place. So uh, I'm going to have four units taken two tenths times. That gives me eight tenths. I need more pennies. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Okay. And we're going to record. All right. So, well, this is interesting. I don't have any ten thousands. In fact, my ten thousands would be right here. So I'm going to put a zero in the ten thousands place. I also don't have any thousands. So I'm going to put a zero there just to make sure we all know that there are no uh, thousands either. And then we are going to take a look at our hundreds place. Oh, hey, I've got pennies there. I have five pennies. That means I've got five hundreds. And then I remember having a lot of tenths here. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight tenths. Okay. And I don't have any units yet. So I'm just going to put that decimal point there. My second partial product uh, is 8,500 ten thousands. Uh, 8,500 ten thousands, or you could just say 8,500. And that is recorded. So now we are moving on to my final digit in my multiplier and the highest digit of my multiplier, which is one unit. So I'm multiplying everything by units. Uh, if I multiply hundreds times units, I get hundreds. And I have five hundreds taken one time. All right, that's five. Two, three, four, and five. Then I have two tenths taken one time. Well, that's two tenths. That's easy. And finally, I have four units taken one time. Well, that's four units. Yay. One, two, three, and four. All right. Okay. And we're going to record our third and final partial product. So I have no ten thousands. I have no thousands. I have, oh, I have five hundreds. I'm going to put those in there. And 
I have two tenths and I have four units. Good thing I didn't have to carry because I can't leave myself enough space. All right, so this is what my board looks like right now. And right now I'm going to do the fun part of the decimal checkerboard. I'm going to actually add all of my pennies. So add all of my partial products. So I'm going to start with my 10 thousandths. I'm going to move those all down. My 10 thousandths place down there. I'm going to take all of my thousandths and I'm going to move those down. Then I'm going to take all of my hundreds. Okay, I've got quite a few hundreds. So I'm going to take all of these hundreds and move those down. Careful not to let anything go into the wrong space. Oh, that's, I'm going to have to exchange there. All right, and I'm going to take all of my 10 and move them into the 10th place. That is also a lot of 10s. All right. And finally, I'm going to take all of my units and move those down into the units place. All right, now if I had a tens place or a hundreds place, you'll see it kind of wraps around after the units place. And that's fine. You can start, you know, looking at your number right up there. All right, so most of these I don't have to exchange. That's five, that's fine, that's seven, that's fine. Okay, uh, this looks to be more than 10. So I'm gonna take a look at this this pile of pennies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, well, I'm gonna exchange 10 of these hundreds uh, for one, oops, one tenth, and I'm gonna double check on that. Two, three, four, five, and five. Okay, good. So, um, all right, and I'm gonna put a ten in there and put those back. All right, and I also need to exchange here, I'm pretty sure. And we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, twelve again. So I'm going to leave these two right here. And I'm going to put away the remaining 10. And I'm going to put one unit there because I just exchanged 10 tenths for one whole. As we all know, 10 tenths equals one whole. All right. And we're going to check what we've got. So I have five units. And all right. So I have five and 2,000. 275 ten thousandths. Okay, well, let's take a look and make sure that all checks out on my board. So I'm just going to add everything on my board, make sure I've got the right place values and everything written down. So I have five ten thousandths, seven thousandths, twelve hundredths, and I'm carrying that one. So one, two, three. 10, 12 tenths, and I'm carrying a one and five units. Okay, wow, that is a lot of decimal places. So my final product is five and 2,275 ten thousandths. All right, um, so, I hope that helps clarify a little bit. 
Obviously, if you are watching this for the first time, this might still be a little confusing. Please feel free to call and ask or set up a Zoom meeting so we can go over a problem together. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any problems. Thank you so much for joining me for the lesson on how to multiply a decimal by a decimal.